To be inclusive on this video, you can replace the words rugby league with any other sport you like. Football, AFL, that Yankee stuff. Let's check it out. Footy players have it all worked out until they retire. Then what? They come here. Who the hell is still using Windows XP for starters? Uh, right, before this video gets into it, this is footy rugby league retirement village. Now, this clearly is sort of a training ground for what to do after playing rugby league. Like I said in the intro, you could put any sport to this because most sports you can only do up to a certain age and then you've got to find what to do. I would like everyone pause the video after I finish talking. I want you to put what are the weirdest things a sports sportsman or woman could do after retiring. Let me know. I don't want the obvious stuff. I don't want commentator or coach. What is the weirdest thing a sportsman or woman could do after retiring? In the comments now, pause the video, do it, and then come back. Okay, hopefully you've all done that. If you haven't, I'm really upset by you. Let's carry on. The footy retirement village. Welcome aboard, mate. I heard you want to start your own cafe. Yeah. Let's talk about that tomorrow, shall we? Yeah, all right. We'd like to give the newbies a quick tour of the grounds as part of their induction. We have a range of activities here at the village. Over here, we can help you become an ambassador for a booking. So you gotta boost the winnings. Standard. Boost the winnings, you got me? Yep. Are you listening? Boost, it's important you really boost. 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 And if all that fails, we can just get you a career in boxing. Come on, Victor, pick your pace up, pick it up! That's gotta be something to do with Sonny Bill Williamson, surely? I know it's rugby league, he, did he? Did Sonny Bill Williamson do rugby league and union? Because I know he was union. And then he did some boxing. He's retired to be a boxer, I think. Uh, he's a machine. Um, but that's a classic, isn't it? Ex-athletes becoming ambassadors for bookies. Clearly, it's a money spinner there. Come on, sit, pick him up. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so after that, we decided... Someone mention the Super League war, please. Coty, uh, Coty, Coty in the gun. Hey, no beat test. Turn that off. <laughs> Somebody stop brooding on that 5K time trial. Just let me do the beat. Let's just want to do the beat. Come here, Bowie. Come here, Bowie. What's up? I got you, Bowie. <laughs> One of the most common issues we have here is post preseason stress disorder. PPSD. Sometimes they just compulsively launch into fitness work. You want to head inside and strap that shoulder up, Bo? Rub my shoulder. Can I, can I get a rub? Sure thing. Yeah, no, our waiting Stop. list is always growing. So some players reserve rooms before retirement. Although this room should have been filled by now. I assume these are two two uh, two players that are past their peak. Maybe. We have our TV area too, where residents love to relive their glory days. Cop that, Chief! Do we have to watch this again, Spud? What, you want to see the 89 grand final, do you, big fella? Greatest grand final of uh, all time. What boys. about the 97 Knights just called? Great scramble offence from you, Spud. We also <laughs> offer avenues for our residents to take the step into senior coaching. And look, that's going to be important tomorrow, but for now, does anybody know about salary caps? Anybody? We actually have a surprisingly high success rate. Yeah, when it comes to meal time, the boys do need a bit of structure. Bring it in, boys. Dinner's on. Okay, Spud, Alfie, where are you? Okay, I got you on table one, all right? Uh, Blocker and Tommy, you're with him, okay? Hey, remember, boys, no carbs. <laughs> Unfortunately, sometimes our residents refuse to buy into our culture, so we ship them off to some reality TV show for a while. You're going on Renault Rumble. Come on, man, I just did Ninja Warrior. <laughs> one more strike, you'll be doing breakfast radio in Adelaide. So, gee up, man. You're gonna regret this. Should have bought into the culture, Bowie. But you wanted to run your own race, didn't you? Right. Oh, don't bring it up. Can don't you bring two it up. nuggets pot down for two seconds? Who are you talking to, you little Who pitch? Who are you, little fleet? Get out of here, otherwise you're going to cop one later on. You might cop two if you could. Sit go. back. What I like about this is that it almost assumes that more or less all athletes always have that same state of mind even after retiring. And I don't know how true that is. Um, but it's assuming that most of them will become coaches and commentators and, uh, as I said, ambassadors for bookies. All the sort of same things. But 
you can't because there's not enough space for all the athletes to do the same thing. And that's why I posed the question at the start. What is the weirdest thing you think that an athlete could do after retiring? Because there isn't enough space for all these athletes to do that. But as I said, you know, these two guys here, they're obviously retired athletes that have not changed one bit. They've still got that competitiveness. They're still kind of reliving the glory days. Um, and I don't know how true that is. I don't know. And they're almost stuck. Almost stuck in a loop. Yeah. I, I don't know. I know a few retired athletes, footballers, soccer players. Um, and I think all of them went into the line of coaching. Yeah. Because I think you don't know any different. That is the problem with sports. Uh, and I think it's slowly changing in, in football anyway. But I don't think you are taught to be anything else. So when your career ends, what do you do? And actually, I've had it as I run a kids football coaching company. I've had two ex-professional players um, coach for me who had to finish early because they got let go through injury and couldn't then carry on. They're not taught to do anything else. Uh, so it's a really tricky one. So I want to know, what do you think? What do you think these athletes should do when they finish? What is the weirdest things? Now, if you're looking at my hoodie thinking, what is that all about? I play with these balls. Yeah, a little bit cheeky. Um, make sure you check out my new merchandise store. Uh, it's got AFL, it's got rugby, it's got cricket, and it's got football merchandise. I play with these balls out now, all different bits of attire. Check it out. I'll catch you next time.